Now, I want to take a second, expose the opportunities that exist in our uh, quiet corner portfolio multifamily uh, offering memorandum comprised of 17 buildings, 93 residential units, and five commercial spaces in Brooklyn and Killingly, Connecticut. So as an investor, what I'm looking for uh, in regard to uh, maintenance and capital expenditures that I could potentially outlay quickly, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, 10 of 17 properties have had the roofs replaced new siding on all of the buildings, except for those with brick. Uh, all the windows in these properties have been replaced as well. And one of the big things are the fact that market rents are definitely below uh, what could be obtained. And we will prove that in just a second. But remember this number. Remember that the average monthly rent per square foot right now for this entire complex is right around $1.05. We're generating a net operating income right now of $385,000. That's a cap rate of 7.72. And we say that it has the potential of 456. Uh, that is on the conservative side. And I'll tell you why. The incomes that are being derived from all of these units, again, we are 85% leased. But that being said, the there are 25 percent of the current tenants that are not up to date on their rents now that could be for a multitude of different reasons but much of that is geared towards covid 19 and the moratorium that is in place now we wanted to give you a level of transparency that you usually don't find when looking at a portfolio. All of the expenses for the individual properties are listed here. And that's everything from heat, electricity, water, insurance, common area maintenance, snow, lawn care, garbage, and taxes. Now, I know that this information here is very hard to see. That's why you're going to have to reach out to Dylan LeGrandier at 401-692-0773 or Dylan at seaportre.com to get this portfolio memorandum and you'll be able to see all of this information. But what we have done is listed the monthly rent per unit, how much has been paid and how much has been unpaid to give you, again, a level of transparency you don't typically see. On this sheet, we give you the lease terms and amenities that are included. So everything from parking, is heat included? Is the electric included? Stove and refrigerator, when is the rent due? Now, to give a compelling argument about the marketplace, we have looked at all of the competing two and three star properties um, in the quiet corner of Connecticut. And for example, You'll see here, total number of units that we looked at that were studio, there were only five, and we are beating uh, the, the numbers as far as rent received for studio. But look at the one bedrooms. One bedrooms, we looked at a pool of 437. We're charging $645, and, and the market is charging a little over 1,000. Two bedrooms, we're charging 728. The market's charging 1,094. Three bedrooms, we're charging 778, and the market's right around 1,400. Now you can look down here at the vacancy rates as well. We're somewhere between the 0.8 and 2% vacancy, uh, and that shows that you know our our complex is underperforming. And here are the asking rents per unit as well. So major opportunity in this complex. If you look at the overall rent for the region, you'll see that uh, back in 2016, it was right around $1.05, which is what is currently being charged um, now for the portfolio. But over time, what's happened, that has gone up to the 118 range. And if you're just looking at the rent comparables, that could be up as high as the 130 or 128 range. So a huge opportunity here for somebody who wants to come in and professionally manage uh, these units, make sure that uh, they lay down the law uh, with the tenants, create some rules and regs that are followed, and the cash flow will do just that. It will flow.